Are we going? Did you I think say, so. Did you say we're ready? Yeah. You told the man we're ready, Jake? Yeah, we're Are ready. We're ready. Are you yeah. ready? I'm ready. All right. Let me turn my microphone audio lower. We're Good. live. Joey, we're live. We are live. Yes, we're live. Welcome, everybody, to the Steam World Telegraph special broadcast live Steam. That's what I'm calling it. Get it? Yeah. It's like live stream. Oh, okay. It's a live stream. Yeah, this stream right here is sponsored by our friends at Thunderful Games, who are the publishers of the Steam World franchise. Jake, I love Steam World. I have a confession. Ooh. I love Steam World with the burning, fiery passion of a thousand suns. Hello, Johnny from Chile. How are you? Very good. Yo, yeah. Chad, thanks for coming through. Yo, Steam World, Joey. When did you fall in love? When did you, were you in from the start? I'm so happy you asked that because I was planning yeah. to go like completely in depth here. Like, I kid you yeah. not. Um, it was actually a good friend of mine, Bobby Pauls, mm -hmm. the Nintendo guru, who he sadly passed away two years ago. So it's, yeah, it, he was the reason why I jumped into this franchise to begin with. Um, first of all, uh, how do we sound, chat? Let us know. Um, so uh, uh, I, got a, I got a little DM here. The video is a little loud. The Turn the video loud. down a little the yeah, video down. The, 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 the freaking music like decided to get super loud all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's going all over the place. But please, it please. is. All right, cool. So that's cool. So so it actually was around. I I remember this. It was like December 2015 when I actually got into the series because I was working at my local movie theater, Jake, and my local movie theater decided to be the only theater in like a 100 mile radius showing Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. And okay, hold on. Before you continue, were you were you doing the 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 video machine? Were you serving popcorn? Were you what were you doing at the movie? I theater? was tearing people's tickets and cleaning up the okay. theater every time it. So I was an usher basically. Usher. And and given that there was only like three screens in this entire theater, there was still a lot of downtime. Even though mm -hmm. we were up until like the crack of dawn because that movie is like four hours long. And mm. so the last showing was until like one or two in the morning. Still had a lot of downtime and I downloaded Steam World Dig and Steam World Heist on my Nintendo 3DS. And that was, and that was when I got bit by the Steam World bug, like Steam World Dig. And it was all because my friend Bobby was, say, was singing its praises on his podcasts, on his videos. And so I said, all right, Bobby, I'll take your word for this. So I downloaded it. I loved Dig. It was a dig ting, a dig ting. Get it? But, uh, but then for some reason, even though Heist is like a completely different game, I still loved that. Like it, even though it was like turn-based strategy, they they it still had like the smoothness of Dig's gameplay, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. And yeah. and I did. I still haven't beaten Steam World Heist. I, I'm. I'm probably gonna try and do that this year but um yeah i love this franchise um but jake tell us about how you got started in your Ooh. steam world digging um journey uh i so i like don't like metroid like games i just don't i don't like them i don't like backtracking joey wow and yeah i don't like it it's Disgraceful. it's I know I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a real gamer I know, <laughs> but um I I feel like there's always this period of time that I kind of long for and have a lot of sentiment towards. It's whenever a new console comes out and you just want to play games on it. So <laughs> like really you know what I mean. So you end up picking yes. up stuff that later in the life you would never pick up. And I remember really early on Steam World uh Steam World Two Steam World Dig Two was was on Switch. And uh, that's where I picked up Steam World Dig 2. Never played Steam World Dig, and I actually really liked it. I liked it every time you got like a new little gadget, a new little item. I was like, this is sick. Totally kept me hooked. I liked the freedom of literally just being able to dig around. And I was a I was a Steam World fan, but Steam World Quest, Joey. Oh man. Steam World Quest freaked me out. That is a video game, baby. And right before the stream, I was telling you, I've been playing a lot of Marvel's Midnight Suns. Steam World Quest was what I needed to appreciate Marvel's Midnight Suns. Very similar uh, combat systems in those two games. It's the idea being that like you, you pick a, a, a group of characters, each character represents a different deck of cards, 
all of those decks of cards come together as those three characters as your party and those determine the the moves that you can make and same thing in marvel's midnight suns and i thought this was so cool and this was the game i think that really like opened me up to card based uh card based combat systems and i remember now like Marvel's Midnight Suns or something like a neon white, the cards show up and people go crazy. People go, oh no, I hate cards, wait. And because <laughs> of Steam World Quest, I, anytime I see cards now, I'm like, hold, hold, might be sick. <laughs> and, and, and I've been in ever since. Really love Steam World Quest. You know what's funny, Jake? That's the one Steam mm. game I haven't played. And yeah, this I is, guess yeah, I'm a disgrace, but like, I'm, I do have this thing where I'm like, when I see a card game, like, or a game mm. that uses cards, I'm not super into it. But also, I remembered. Wait a minute. I'm not a huge. I wasn't a huge fan of turn-based strategy games. I'm still not. But I still love Steam World Heist. So by that logic, I would still love Steam World Quest. So I really need to pick that up. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. That was a uh, whatever year that came out in, whatever year I played that in. That ended up making my top ten. I really loved that game. Uh, good, fantastic on Switch too. And I'm glad to see. I'm seeing a lot of love in the chat for Steam World Quest. Uh, yeah. If they come out and they said Steam World Quest 2 with this puppy, oh my god, yeah. I saw the so comment. In. I saw the comment from Vic Man saying I'd love Quest 2, and I'm like, oh, you want to buy an Oculus Quest 2 or a Meta Quest 2? I was a little confused yeah. for a second, but uh, yeah. yeah, I really, I really need to check that out. I would. So let's also that kind of leads us to what what's yeah. going to be in this Telegraph special broadcast, right? Because we only know, we, we only really know of one game coming out in the Steam World franchise that was announced in, I believe, um, around 2021. Steam World Headhunter. Oh, Jake, your alt account is in the chat. Jake, the my kid. alt, dude. Jake the kid, dude. Yeah. Shout out. And hello, Oscar from uh, uh, this Oscar Rio from Jersey City, New Jersey. Ooh, New Jersey City. That's right. The land down under, they say. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Jake's from New York. You better watch out. <laughs> I'm not from New York. Everybody thinks that. I'm not from New York. Didn't you live there, though? I did. I lived there. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're part of the blood feud now. You have no You want you the lore, Joey? I'm from Ohio, <laughs> baby. Nice. Yeah, dude. All greatness Good comes time. from Ohio. Like Ted yeah. Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. Um, hey. Well he, well, he was from the moment. Wait. That's, that's right. <laughs> 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 he didn't live in Ohio. He lived in the moment. Right. But, but so, Joey, that Steam World game, you, you, it's Headhunters? That's what they called it? Yeah, I'm going to look it up one more time just to make sure Please. I have the name right. Steam yeah, yeah, yeah. World, is it Headhunter or Headhunters? Ooh, it's Headhunter. Good question. Just one Headhunter. Head. Okay, Headhunter. Yeah, uh, and yeah. that game, from what we know, it's 3D. It's going to be 3D. Whoa revolutionary for the steam world franchise uh but the yeah. developer image inform they they did a 3d game uh also in 2021 uh called the gunk on game it came out on xbox and game pass which i've played some of and i need to beat that one too it gives it kind of remind it the game kind of reminds me of like mario sunshine because you're cleaning up gunk and like oh yeah 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 you know me big power watch simulator fan so right uh when you said image and form, Joey, it sounded like you were saying the name of like a beautiful young woman named Image and Form. <laughs> and I <laughs> immediately I was like, image, who's Image and Form? Oh, Image and Form. Yes. Oh, jeez. Image and Form. Image yeah. and Form. And I'm gonna read yeah. this. I'm gonna read this. Um, I'm gonna read this plot synopsis real quick. Steam oh, World, uh, Steam World heads in a whole new direction. Directly following the literally earth shattering events of SteamWorld Dig 2, SteamWorld Headhunter is a stylized and colorful third person co op adventure with a head popping twist. So, we don't know too much about this game. All we saw was a, was a CGI trailer. But the fact that it's set after SteamWorld Dig 2 raises a few questions. So, this must mean it's set on another planet. Because, spoiler alert for SteamWorld Dig 2, the earth explodes. <laughs> Damn, Which Joey, means, just saying, right, right, you're just cutting them off. You're like, this is, the spoiler walls are up, okay? <laughs> bro, SteamWorld Dig 2 is five years old, okay? Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're <laughs> but right. also, like, it leads, it's, and that and that game leads into the events of SteamWorld Heist, which is set in outer space. And they mentioned yeah. at the beginning of Heist, to like, oh, yeah, the planet blew up, so. Yeah, really cool stuff there. Um, I don't, where, do you know where Quest is set, Jake? Because that's the one I haven't played yet. I'm I'm too disconnected from the rest of the franchise to know, but I think it's 
I, if I had to guess, it seems to be separate and maybe if I, I, this might be crazy, but maybe like way before, because there's almost like a pseudo fantasy, like old timey fantasy element to quest. So yeah. I so I think it's maybe separate from all of this. But Joey, the thing that like caught my ear when you were reading that description for Headhunters, what was what's going on with all these like popping off head jokes? What is there a gameplay mechanic? That's oh, yeah. like one of the characters is just a head. Like a literal so, head. So do you think we're like, we're, do you think we're like putting on different bodies? Um, I'm not sure. I, I need to rewatch that CGI trailer. But from what okay. I understood from that, from what I remembered of that trailer, was the was that you you play as a bounty hunter, but you have a you have a partner that's a literal head, like kind of like a head crab from Half Life or something. Right. And like, okay. And like you're in like a like the main character's in a standoff, and. And then all of a sudden, like, his little head dude comes out and starts attacking the other dude. And then it cuts to the title, Steamrolled Headhunter. Okay. Yeah. I just, it just, the way, the, the amount of times they said it, it seemed so core. And the name, Headhunt. What is, I, I feel there's something here going on that, that when we see the trailer, we're going to go, oh, there it is. Yeah, exactly. Somebody in the chat, Patrick, mm. says, I'm hoping for a new physical collection of past games and a new game announcement. So... Jake, it's been a while since we've seen a SteamWorld game come out. Yeah. Well, we got a super chat from Ryan Morrow, 399, thank you so much, said, Hi, hello, Ryan. It's good to see you there. It's good oh, to Ryan. see you here in our stream. But um, that, that's also where I want to bring the discussion. This next discussion is, are we going to see more than just SteamWorld Headhunter? Or will it only be a Headhunter-focused thing? But I'd also like to think that, because we've we've gotten SteamWorld games in the past like fairly quickly back-to-back, -back, I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. I think Dig, I don't remember when Dig came out, but I think Heist came out like two or three years later. And then after that, two years later, it was um, it was SteamWorld Dig 2. And two years mm -hmm. after that, it was SteamWorld Quest, and which I believe was 2019. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. 2020, 20, it's been four years almost. Do you think mm -hmm. they're going to surprise mm -hmm. us with maybe multiple game announcements? Uh, we'll definitely get at least one. I yes. think we'll get an update. I think we'll get an update on Headhunter. My my theory is that Headhunter is we're, we're gonna see it here, and it's gonna be clear this is their most ambitious video game yet. Yeah. So ambitious that we kind of have to. Or I think we're gonna have to place it later in the year. We're gonna have to go. That's later. And they did and come out with. And they did come out with the Gunk too. So they sure. they've been sure. working on other stuff instead of Steam World. Yeah, games. definitely. Uh, but I do think we will see. Yeah, we will see at least one other new announcement, and my guess is whatever that new announcement is comes sooner than Headhunter. Headhunter, yeah. again, ambition, put it way out there. Yeah. So my question is, is will will we be going back to the well, the dig, if you will? I hope so. I love the dig. You think games. so? I yeah. I don't know if I think so. I just hope so because I love the dig gameplay. I think it's has like the most one of the most satisfying gameplay loops like i've ever experienced like there's just i always think about um whenever i want to play steam the D dig franchise again like i always got to go back to the first one just mm. it's it's beautifully simple style of game there's there's it's a shorter game there's not too much um story in there either but like just going back to that gameplay loop of like going yeah. down digging getting loot selling that loot buying better gear it's, it's the ultimate, like, build your character up experience. And then you transition over to 2, which is far more in-depth, far more complex le levels, a far more complex story. It's it's a beautiful evolution of the Dig style of gameplay. So I'm just kind of like, oh, if we got a third game, man, got that third game, oh, I'd be so happy. Do you think... Do you think, given what it looks like the studio is investing in, do you think there's any chance we get a, a dig game and it's in 3D? That would be nuts. Um, I it would don't be know. a hook. It would be a, you know what I mean? It would really change. It wouldn't just look like the other ones. It wouldn't, but a part of me wants dig to stay 2D. But if they found mm. a way to make that gameplay style work in 3D, you have my money anyway. Like, Ooh. Just, just take it. Take it. Sounds more. like <laughs> money. <laughs> oh man, cool. Yes, oh, Steam. Jake the kid says Steam World, Tears of the Steam Dome. That's good. That's good. Yes. That, yeah, mark that down. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, oh Char yeah. I've Charlie says please. all I really want is Steam World Heist Two. 
with multiplayer and level editor. Yeah, I need to finish Heist. Heist was Heist was banger. Heist was a banger game. Yeah, it's funny to me that in the chat so far, I have seen people love and hate every one of the Steam World games already. <laughs> I've, se I've seen people say, please no heist. And I've seen people say, please heist. So it's, yeah, it's interesting. I, I feel like that while the specific genre might not speak to you and people might bounce off different things, it seems to me like image and form, like it's, I feel like they just know what a good game is and seem to like, uh, oh, how did the gunk do? Did people like the gunk? I'm not sure, but I, I, I kind of liked it. So I you play? Oh wait, you played some gunk? I played some gunk. I didn't finish oh. the gunk. Oh. Okay, gunk is sitting at a 70 on Metacritic. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all, honestly. Whoa, man. Maybe I should check out gunk. It's on Game Pass, right. Jake. Oh man. It's on the Game Pass. Get on that. Game Are we getting Pass. gunky? All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I feel like they're they're just like a pretty reliable developer, well, and I think the thing I'm yeah I think the thing I'm most curious about here is like art style, scope, budget. I'm curious about all of these things because I feel like they've had so much success that will it get to them? Will they will they get away from the simple 2D creatures that we fell in love with and strive for something more? Strive for iteration and advancement or will we see something here that that we go oh perfect game to play on my sweet little nintendo switch i known quantity that's what i'm curious well about. guess what jake steam world headhunter is not coming to switch it's not it's coming to playstation Whoa. windows and xbox i mean there could be a switch port later down the road who knows but right now it's not confirmed for switch so, so what do you? So, do you think that this represents a direction for their development efforts, or, or the opposite? Do you think we're more likely to get something else for Switch? I hope we get something else for Switch, and you know, because yeah. Steam, because Image and Form, yeah, they found success on Nintendo, but they're not like a console exclusive Switch only sort of developer. They, right, they're, all their games are multi platform now, so mm. you could play, you could play Steam World Big on your PlayStation Five, amigo. So. There you go there. And yeah, they're <laughs> I'm pretty sure they all started out as Nintendo exclusives, but um but then they came out on other platforms later. So yeah. yeah. Who knows? We shall see. Um if anything, like you know how Nintendo Switch ports are now, they come out later, if they ever come mm -hmm. out. So I could see that probably happening. But again, we don't even know the the, the ambition, the scale of this game. It could be yeah. open world for all we know. The gunk was like a linear sort of 3D game. But yeah. uh, who knows if Steam World uh, Head Under is going to be like that? We shall see. But Jake the Kid says he heard it's coming to the Switch U. Oh, whoa, whoa, huge! Oh my God, what is this a leak? Switch U. Oh, Jake the Kid, I'm going to need your sources. Drop them in the chat. Yes. Oh man. Char Charlie said, uh, regardless of what your favorite is, I assume we can all agree that Steam World games have been very innovative. And yeah, like that's why I slowly pick up Qu Steam World Quest because even though I don't like turn-based rpgs with cards like it's yeah. more the it's more the card thing i'm just like if any game has cards i'm kind of like uh, i don't know nah, I, i'm not gonna i'm not eager to jump in but also like heist i was not into steam world heist i mean i was not into turn-based strategy games but then i picked up steam world heist and i'm like okay let's go like this is just this is really good right here <laughs> joey i feel i feel quest could could turn you it's it's extremely good i'm i'm looking through the uh steam world games twitter account right now to see if they had any sorts of hints or just like about what because I, I feel like so in the dark about this event i don't know if this is gonna be one game five games i don't know what we're doing like i you know what i mean i feel like it's it's they're keeping things they've been keeping things very close to their chest they, all we know is that there's a stream coming and that's it like we don't we don't know what this stream's gonna be filled with well, presumably there's gonna be headhunter in there because why wouldn't it but um I'd like to see other surprises too. But for those of you who just tuned in to the stream, welcome. We got about five minutes left. Welcome to the Steam World Telegraph stream, which is sponsored by publisher Thunderful Games. Thank you, Thunderful, for sponsoring this stream. We are very excited for the future of Steam World here. So let us know in the chat if you just showed up what your favorite Steam World game is and what you hope to see in this Steam World Telegraph live stream. Let us know, man. Like. I'm very excited. It's been a while since I've really like sunk my teeth into a Steam World game. 
Thunderful, if you're watching, if you're out there, you're checking out the sponsored Game Explained stream. First off, thank you. Second, tweet at me at Jake Knows It. How are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know, dude. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. Yeah, there's really not a lot of hints on this Twitter account, Joey. This could this could be anything. I feel like nobody knows what is coming today. Uh, do we think that Telegraph is just like a fun, westerny thing to call this instead of a SteamWorld Direct? Or is that a hint? Is this a game about delivering messages? That's a very good question. You know, because SteamWorld's always had that that western sort yeah, of dude. thing yeah. going for it. And I think, yeah, that's... Well, I'm hoping like we see more than just Headhunter. Let, but if Headhunter looks fantastic, and that's mm -hmm. the only thing in this, I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, you know, yeah, that's I, a good point. I don't know mm -hmm. if they said how long this thing is. I want to say they said it was going to be about half an hour, maybe. Wait, really? Maybe. I don't. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, that might just be an, an assumption I'm making. But if so, like that's a long time to spend on one game. But if it's that ambitious, I believe I believe it. Man, yeah, there's really no, there's not there's no communication about this. Their even their their YouTube description is just like enjoy. <laughs> I love it. We need more of these like we need more of the the mystery with these things. Like you know, we always go into a excuse me. Uh, we always go into this these these like Nintendo directs and stuff with like yeah. an idea of what's to come. Mm -hmm. Here, other than Headhunter, we have no idea what's to come. No idea what's to come, and I'm very excited. Like, okay, Joey, uh, shot in the dark. I want you to throw a dart at a at a genre that Steam World has not done yet. Okay, that we could that we could see in this broadcast. Oh, first person shooter. Thank you for your like silent it. clap. <laughs> I like I like it. I like I like it. I think that'd be sick. If we pull up and it's just, and it's just like a bunch of weird noises and gears and popping off little funny guns, like oh man, that'd be sick. Uh, yeah, Z -Con, I want to see Zcon said mm, in the please. chat through. A th yeah. Uh, oh, there's a 2D tactical one on mobile Steam World Heist. Oh yeah, we were just talking about Steam World Heist. Um, yeah, the 3D tactical stealth shooter is one. Uh, one is a Steam World game too. Wait, there's a 3D tactical stealth shooter. What's going on here? I, I missed that. But um, oh, Charlie asked what. Um, can you explain what the gunk is? And Headhunter is 3D, right? Yeah, Headhunter is 3D. That's all we know about it. It's 3D. And the gunk is is a 3D, um, like, action-adventure game where you, you're visiting an alien planet and you're sucking up gunk through a vacuum. So if you're really into, like, the Mario Sunshine style of gameplay, it's really cool. Check it out. It's on Game Pass. But, uh, Jake, what, what genre do you want to see them tackle? Fighting game, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, now fighting game. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um fighting game or i i'm really something i really like about the steam world franchise is i feel they're really good at creating little goobers and freaks and i think little goobers and freaks really excel in fighting games and rpgs like you get your little team you get some normals you get some big strong people and then you get your goober and your freak uh but i think a fighting game that is not like a 2d uh Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Charlie Ward in the chat is reading my mind. Like a Power Stone Arena game. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking, Charlie Ward. I'm thinking some kind of like 3D fi brawling fighting type thing. I think that'd be really cool. Um, think about like, I don't know. You think about like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance-esque brawler. You know what I mean? And everybody has like different abilities on their hot bar and stuff like that. I feel like Steam World would be really cool for that. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, totally. Yeah, the, the yeah. music picked up here, so I like turned it down a little bit. Um, hopefully, we still. Yeah, music reminding me. How many you seconds of, you got left? Uh, twenty-three. Oh, perfect. Yes, uh, Louis Pugh. Are you related to Florence Pugh? Says music reminding me of Little Inferno for some reason. Remember Little Inferno? Wasn't that just like a little Wii U eShop game where you like control the fire thing? I don't remember. I don't remember either. All right, five seconds. Let's go. Let's see what what this. I'm so excited. What are we gonna see first, Jake? What are we gonna see first? Tell me. Whoa! Oh man! Uh, uh, the fighting game. The fighting game. Wait, okay. is that like a Mar was that like a Marvel esque yep. intro? <laughs> it was. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, they're doing real people now. Yo, is that a Steam Deck? That's a Steam Deck. Nice. What's going on here?
It's a FMV game. I hope so. <laughs> About, about buying Steam Deck games. About <laughs> he botched that hat throw. Oh, thank you for the subtitles. I was going to turn on captions, yeah. but if there's subtitles in this. In a whiskey glass? Whatever you want, John Wayne. He looks exactly like John Wayne. I was just thinking that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's Steam playing Steam World on a Steam Deck. Duh. Oh, nice. Every time. She better, if she's playing Steam on Dig 3, I'm going to lose my mind. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice uh, it's a Steam World game you're playing there. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching this, do not do this. If, if you have the opportunity, do not take this course of action. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Turn up the stream, Joey. Turn up the stream. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to know a secret about SteamWorld? Something that nobody knows anything about? Sure. Well, there's the story about this. Great story, cowboy. Don't forget your head. Head? <laughs> I'll be right back. So, as I was saying. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. I just wanted to share the secret about SteamWorld. We're actually working on something new. Oh. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll. Oh my god, it's oh oh it's 2D. Jake, I think it's 2D. Oh my god. Are you sure? I a feel like it could just be a cutscene, Joey. Uh it looks 2D to me, Jake. Alright. Alright, folks. Time to get to work. Oh, but it's 3D, you're right. Oh my God, it's like a city builder. Yo. Wow, didn't guess this genre, didn't guess this. Cool. That's fun. Turned it up a you bit ever, more. You ever play, uh, you ever play uh, city builders, Joey? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, Not me neither. Really. But I might have to pick this one up because it's State oh. World. Oh, we're going subterranean. Cool. Oh. No, this ain't a mobile game. This is totally on a PC. Oh yeah, no, this is this seems complex. Yeah. Man, that looks cool. Diablo said I'd have punched that fool in the face if he did that to me. <laughs> Correct. Out Correct of, course of action. Just out of correct out of fear. Like, ah, would you come from? Cool. Steam World build. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah. That looks so sweet. Welcome to Steam World Telegraph He's special back. broadcast. Confirmed. We got we multiple games in this thing. Next Steam World yeah, game. for real. Steam World build, which is coming to PC oh, and all consoles oh. later this year. Even Switch, dude. Steam Let's World go. is Thunderful's original series. Game Boy Color. It was created right here in Gothenburg. This Swedish city was, and still is, an industrial town. I was town, wondering, why do all the cowboys sound Swedish? for its huge port, <laughs> and also the many factories <laughs> that were built here, once some of the British investors came over during the Industrial Revolution. Even so we, you? I'm here <laughs> in this beautifully <laughs> preserved <laughs> relic from that era. What the Gothenburg is this, is this real, or is this museum. Steam World War? Right. Back in the day, it's real, when this but... factory was fully <laughs> okay. functional, they said, it was like, steam powered, as were all it was factories inspired by, in like, the factories the in Gothenburg. And 1900s. Okay. I've been to Sweden, this but I don't think I've been to Gothenburg. This huge significance of Gothenburg in Swedish history was highly influential when we gave birth to SteamWorld, as we wanted to create a series... Alright, SteamWorld fight. Now I've got my fingers crossed. SteamWorld fight. It was fight. created in. <laughs> Before we dig further into SteamWorld build, I wanted to quickly go over what SteamWorld is and share a couple of SteamWorld related announcements too. SteamWorld has always been about making the types of games we at Thunderful wanted to make with a gameplay that excites us 
and it's an IP that acts as a wrapper for any genre. Oh, still looks and so allows good. Allows us to add our own unique twist to it. I love this series so Steam much. World began with My Steam goodness. World Tower Defense, and then came an action digging platformer with the first. I've Steam never World played Dig. Tower Defense. Then we tackled no turn based tactics <laughs> with Steam World Heist. It's, it was their very first. Dig Two Steam World was our game, but I heard it's a full blown Metroidvania. Not as good. And with Steam World Quest. We oh, gave deck quest, building RPGs a Steam World spin. For every genre we Steamify. decide to Steamify, oh, we yeah, always strive to add <laughs> unique elements and distill it down to its core essentials with extremely tight gameplay and an accessible design. That's so true. Bringing Steam like, World back and making it bigger Steam and World better Heist than ever has been something we've been planning for years like, now. But it was like super simple. I've been and working still fun. with Image and Form mm, since the mm. original game, Steam World Tower Defense back in 2010. And Steam World Build is now the sixth mainline entry in the Steam World series. As our roster of studios increases in size, we of course have a lot of people wanting to bring their own ideas to the Steam World universe for cool. their next projects. So, as the series expands into new and exciting directions, I will be working with all of our development studios to ensure that the tone, the lore, and the gameplay of all our Steam World games stays true to the series roots. Of course, build is one of those directions, but we also have more Steam World games in development than ever before. Ever before, Including Jake. build, we're now yeah. working on four separate four. Steam World titles. Oh. Back in the day, when we Ooh, were a small team, that titillates me, we had Jake. to make a Steam yeah. World game, have a break, then figure out what we wanted to do next, and so on and so on. So now, as Thunderful, we have multiple studios, and it means we can do a lot more Steam World things at once. I'm not going to go into details on the other three titles today, oh. but rest assured, oh. we cannot oh, wait no. to show you more when Got the time is right. Got me excited. For SteamWorld fans around the world, SteamWorld Telegraph will be the new one-stop shop to so get all the latest So is this just a build? Is it, is, we're just doing build? Starting a little not later sure. this year, we will be introducing SteamWorld Telegraph as a smaller scale, community-focused show, which I will host. We'll be able to do deep dives into specific SteamWorld news stories or announcements, discuss the lore of our world, play past and present SteamWorld games, and we'll interview developers and other guests. Today's special broadcast has been made to kick off the return of SteamWorld. As you look forward to hearing more about the debut of SteamWorld Telegraph, sign up to the SteamWorld newsletter and follow us on social media to be the first to know. For anyone wanting to catch up on the SteamWorld series, we have a SteamWorld franchise sale available right now on Steam, Ooh. where you can purchase SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Heist, SteamWorld Dig 2, and SteamWorld Quest at insane discounts. But what about the eShop? Which now brings me to Quest SteamWorld on Build. Switch. For anyone I, I imagine Build it will just release, coincidentally show up on the eShop as things happen. Steam as part there's, of a, the Steam there's a build demo, build so that's cool. Fest. Okay, nice. Now, let's talk more about Steam Probably World means Build and show you the game yeah. up and running. So we'll roll the trailer one more time and then meet you back here for some gameplay. That guy seems cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Second time the trailer is running. This is the same trailer? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm taking it in. Now that I have the spoilers. Time to get to work. At one point in this, they show a saloon, and I and my dream video game is just you are the proprietor of the Steam World saloon. Oh yes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I hope they have a salon. Yeah. I'm very curious because. Not really into city builders, but you know, anytime Steam will put their spin on things, I mean. So do you think it's do you think it's like you explore down to get resources so that you can do stuff on top? Probably. If, it, if there's anything like the other Steam World games. Or like the dig Ooh. games at least. I think I saw a car wash, but for like robot citizens. They like walked through and got washed.
Those are robots need to be washed, man. Yeah, dude. They gotta be. Yeah. They get so Sticks. dirty. You more old power wash. Hi everyone, and welcome back. I'm now joined by two of the developers of SteamWorld Builds, uh, who represent our internal studio, the station. Which Whoa, is these people are Pulse serving Pulse. looks right now, Joey. And with us, we this is this is intense. I'm like intimidated <laughs> right now. <laughs> and Adam Masi, who is the producer. Hi. So guys, there's a lot of lore to SteamWorld that's already established. I mean, we have so many games, and they follow uh, like uh, along a, a timeline, if you like. Like this game leads to this game, and you learn something in this game that tells about that, that appears in the, in the that game, and so on. How does SteamWorld build fit into yeah, the I thought heist the was like a completely timeline. separate yeah, so thing, but it was tied to the story. story. About a father and oh my god, so those those two little characters Earth. are so actually like SteamWorld big characters in the story of this? I love that, that like weirdo we little farmer robot and the little girl robot, that's awesome. When the Earth exploding, and our story is one of those rockets. It's cool. So the SteamWorld franchise, it likes to take on new genres and mash them up. So that's nothing new. So could you tell us a little bit about how the idea of a city builder came about? So actually, we, we always loved uh, city builder games in uh, our studio. Man, how do they and, have the staff we were, to uh, make course, so many different genres of games? Steam That's insane. Because well. I bought so many so, of their um, games. When we started to like, I bought talk, Steam all day uh, 40 times. Uh, so I pretty much funded their with, entire studio. With the influences right, right. of the, the, the digging and the mining part of the dig games were. Something go into interview. Really I really like do. fighting games. Pretty it's like, okay, like a few things that make we'll hire you, but just like truly unique. Just wait a minute. Just like, mm -hmm. We'll get yeah. there. So initially we decided that we wanted to take two established uh, game systems. So city building and basically resource managing and resource gathering and create one cohesive experience. Uh, I think like... Um, yeah. I'm glad to have a demo it's out like just the so Anna I series, like know how to play this. With Dungeon Keeper. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And we should be in the right ballpark. Yeah. 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 That's correct. But the challenge of that, of course, becomes if making you look at that little bar at the top, it looks like two of the primary resources were money and time, those which is cool. Into play yeah. In what is this? There was like an hourglass. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. In time, starring so Justin Timberlake. Game, right? yeah. Ooh. And, I mean, we don't mind mashing up genres. It's it's fun. You know, it's like you, it's like baking Jake, a cake. You can play this on your good Steam stuff Deck. Put, put it together and see what you come up with. That is so something. That's one thing. Playing Steam World on your Steam Deck. Yeah, I will try. I mean, like you're building a city. But you're also mining um, and, and getting, gathering Corey these resources. Corey Lou says, for and a I second, I thought Jake Steinberg's profile picture was Ryan Malice. Could you, could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. That must a have been difficult. Picture? That's what I mean. Yes. What does that mean? Yeah, it was. I don't, like, when I think, we oh, thought about your it, chat, we really wanted to your, make a city builder oh, oh, uh, yeah. too far away okay. from the original material Ryan in the SteamWorld so. games. Me neither. It just felt wrong. Yeah. You know, we wanted to do the digging and everyone loved the idea of the old Dungeon Keeper games. So we figured, could we combine the two in a good way? But then we had to figure out how do these Keeper two game. layers connect? How does your actions in the mine feed into your actions in the city and vice versa? Right. So we had to keep this constant flow. So that, that was the big thing to figure out. Uh, but of course, it's by unlocking things, finding things in the mine. Yeah. So, you know, you, you mine, find, mine, I don't mine. know, you find scrap in the tunnels. And you're like, ooh, nice. Okay, so we got that like these little, we've got like these little parts. Pikmin yeah. construction that worker guys. Love them. You send them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means that you can, if anything you know, bad get, happens to them, the I mine. shoot so everyone in this room and then myself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so of course you have to uh, also think about the optimizing your city and like how do I uh, fulfill my inhabitants and how 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 do oh, I make looks like they're using the PlayStation of, controls of my on this video feed. To make it oh all my efficient. goodness! Yeah, spot it. Square the first <laughs> SteamWorld game coming out that is in 3D. I mean, Sophie, like as a as an art director, that that poses a million questions, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah, it does. <laughs> because if you do a 2D game, it'll always look the same. Yeah, to, yeah I mean, you just good. Yeah, it will always look exactly like you intended, yeah. right? There was a lot of challenges with that. First off, we wanted to make sure that we kept true to the original original material. So we looked a lot at the old games. I think uh, I think where my interest in this comes from like is what the guy was kind of saying the about the Steam World games, example, where they actually like I think are good in committed games, to making so them accessible. It. But yeah. and because a lot of a lot of these like city builder games, I'm I'm just not quite because we uh, a good enough gamer. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot of stuff to manage. So we but I think, to think like they might be able to just like onboard you onto it at the right tempo well, that, that to get you to get you in. I kind of have faith in them for that. Silhouettes, colors, shapes. Totally. That's why I'm like. 
Okay, right. I'll try this out because I feel like uh, they so make for it example, accessible uh, enough for a filthy casual Nukum like Dumont, myself. Yeah, uh, which is basically just a giant cloche that lifts up and down, up and down, and it has like some uh, a knife and a fork that rotates. So right. it's really easy to see from a distance what it is. It actually took me a while to realize that wait a minute, I can I can actually zoom in like and look at this and seamlessly like suddenly. I'm looking at, I mean, I'm, I'm a city planner, I'm building my city. And then you go in and you see the robots sort of walking along the streets. But also, like you said, like every building is its own character in the game. And it's just, it's magnificent. And also when you get in close, you hear these things. Yeah. We're going to, you know, pull in references where we can, where it's funny. That, that's that's always going to happen. We have one level. Man, I feel like cinema. games like these are uh, so hard to sell play, because it's a classic fun to play, maybe not fun like, to watch. You know what intensely. I mean? Yeah. I would never in pull, pull somebody yeah, in and, and be says, like, dude, uh, the good check out me building this city right now, man. But it's like you, yeah, you get, you just like get invested. It like takes, it's like a time sink. I get it. In the ground that says beware. And then there's a Robo Shrek. What? Image. Stuff like that. Robo okay. Shrek. So there's one more thing that I can't just go back. It unique. Go back to Robo Shrek. When I've played City Builders, oh, I've either played on PC, I mean, uh, using a keyboard and mouse, and it, it just is very natural. And then I've played uh, also on my iPad, and I think, yeah, that, that works really well too. But Steam will build, we're going out boldly here saying that it's coming to PC and all consoles. Yeah, so so we decided to, hey, we want to make this game accessible for, Will for they everyone use on the all the platforms. On so the how do we do that Ooh. the smoothest way possible? So we decided to, no. hey, let's make sure that we have playable oh, builds no. every week. No. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll use the same controls as the, the other consoles, the UI, I would guess. And the UI and the interface, so it would work equally well with a, with a mouse and a keyboard or with a, a gamepad. And if it did not, then we wouldn't put it in. So. That was, uh, if only there was some kind of gamepad that we could use, that you could use, that we and you could use. I love how you say that as soon as we got hey, two comments uh, to saying this, the Wii U version is coming. I would enjoy a Wii U no, version. That won't work on the, on the <laughs> gamepad. Sorry. And then we just had to rethink it, yeah. right? Did so when we did talk our about the gamepad? game test sessions, by the we had PC No, no, they, they meant just the controller. At the same oh, okay. time, and our developers got to feedback on how it felt on uh, console and could, you know, give good input. Like this doesn't work. Could we switch this button, etc. They mentioned switch. And I think we, we could absolutely guarantee that that all the. Oh, that's so fun! No I love the idea of people playing their game and just we, being like, we the "No, this should be the square uh, button, not the, the triangle the, button." The PC. <laughs> that, that, that that would be my job well, guys, in we're game development. Here, I think I think I would been, be the um yeah, such a the button to jester. And I'm so I think I'd be good at that. Game. That's a good and, name. Uh, yeah, the so button jester. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's you guys the, put one on the, the X button? Shelves. I don't think so. <laughs> so thanks a lot for coming for coming up to Gothenburg, like from Karlsson. Yeah. We're so thank happy. you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, to the team who's been working on this game as well, I just want to say. Thanks a lot, guys, because you've, I think you've pulled it off. It's really, really nice. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hats off to you. Okay, so to reiterate what we've shown you today, Steam will Build is coming to PC and all consoles later in 2023. We have a free demo going live today on Steam. All previous SteamWorld games are available with huge discounts in the SteamWorld franchise sale, which is also live today on Steam. Beyond SteamWorld Build, we have many more SteamWorld games coming, so look forward to hearing about those in the future. I'm so ready SteamWorld to hear SteamWorld Telegraph those will games. debut properly later this year at a smaller scale as our new community show that focuses on all things SteamWorld Ooh. past, present, and future. In the meantime, Follow us on social media and sign up to the SteamWorld newsletter to be the first to know about all SteamWorld right. news directly from us. And that's our show. Thanks for watching. And as always, we hope you have a thunderful day and look forward to checking cool. back I in get with it. you. Thunderful very soon. day. Bye for now. <gasps> yeah. It's a play on words, Jake. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So, honestly, now that I'm reflecting on it, I think it was the right move to not show any of the other games. Because I think part of their challenge is trying to 
get somebody like me to maybe try a genre of game that they've never played before. And I think like if you show multiple games, you run the risk of me being like, oh, you know what? That one's for me. So I'll I'll put this one aside. Whereas now I feel like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll at least give, I'll give this a try the one that's here i'll give it a try I'll that's a good try. point yeah and i yeah. love that they're releasing a demo but but i want to check and see if they're also having the sale on the eShop because like they. i was just looking for that too yeah it i don't know it doesn't look like it though yeah maybe one will just like show up later this week you know what i mean it's exactly. just monday Maybe yeah, it's it just, just Monday. Monday. Is it only Monday? What a, it's already been a long week, Jake. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, listen, I'm in favor of anybody that wants to have a little event and shadow drop a demo. Demos are just like, you can't forget about a good demo. You know what I mean? A good demo. Yeah, dude. A good demo is a good time. Uh, yeah. Chat, what did, what did you think about SteamWorld build? Any, any city building experts in the chat today anybody that's like out here playing cities vr to reveal me. yourself <laughs> cities vr that's a real thing uh george thank you so much says he'll check the e- wii u e-shop and report back <laughs> thank you george i can't believe that that, thing, that that e-shop's gonna go away this year i'm not that's ready. awesome i'm not ready it's not awesome jake what the heck yeah yeah death the death the wii u long live switch <laughs> Jake, Jake the kid says he likes cities VR too. This is your alt account. I knew it. Wow, dude. No, I'm not out here playing cities VR. Jake, that's that's Jake the kid's got the goods. Uh, so like it looks pretty good though. I haven't tried the VR city builders. Yeah, that was that was just an example. But like for people that are into city builders, I wonder what you look for. I wonder what the thing is mm-hmm. that makes a that makes a good city builder versus like a not good one and i wonder if they saw stuff here because for me what what this game has going for it is i feel like i like the uh i like when there's two different things and they kind of like feed into each other like that it's i know it's completely different but it kind of reminds me of like fire emblem games or persona games where you have like the combat and then you go back and you do like the social stuff or the management stuff so i kind of like there being the all right all right we have our underground gameplay and then we have our above ground gameplay and that, you know it makes sense yeah that's a really interesting mechanic and yeah. you know it, it is like it goes back to dig you know you go underground you go back up you buy stuff the steam old dig oh yeah steam old dig had like the first one had like very 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 light city builder sort of things and that was really just as you kept playing like the town kept getting a little bigger but it wasn't anything deep per se but now right. we're we're really getting this game that's all about city building so and it's all tied into the lore and everything. So that's really interesting to see. Joe, I really love this comment from Aikumizu in the chat. A good city builder requires a good loop and enough to sink your teeth in. You get to see very quick results for a change you made, good or bad. I think that's an awesome comment. Do you you make a decision and it's like, oh, that was a bad investment. What have I done? You know, <laughs> that's cool. I I get that. I see the appeal of that. Yeah. Oh, look, uh-huh. <laughs> my YouTube just decided to recommend our what? YouTube short <laughs> of, uh, what was it, of of what's it called, um, Forspoken. <laughs> nice. Forspoken, out tomorrow. Exactly. All right. Uh, hazmat, oh, please. I was going to say, I was going to close this, I was going to close the stream, but let's read that comment and then we'll close. The stream. Yeah. Hazmat says, in my opinion, city builders are like board games. You key off specific mechanics that you like. Is it a worker pathing city game? A zoning city game? A vassal managing city game? Whoa. Okay. So much. That's really yeah. If I if I ever stream this game, I'm gonna need the city building experts in the chat here to come through to and guide help you. Make, help you. Yeah. Out. No. Need the guidance. But please. Okay. But yeah, this was great. Okay. Uh. So Thunderfall sponsored stream. Thank you. Steam World build demo out right now. Game coming later this year to all consoles. And four other Steam World games in development. That's crazy. Four others. Yeah. And I can't wait to hear about those four others. Can I? Can I just hope one of them's Dig Three? So just gotta be so that. Well, so we know Headhunters. Yeah. We know, and then and then we have three other Mystery Boys. I feel like Dig is the is like it's been long enough. That's like the captain of the ship. Yes. Dig's got to be one of those. Yeah. And then there's and then there's one more, probably another different genre. I hope it's a first-person shooter and not a fighting game just to make you mad. Just kidding. SteamWorld Fight, though? That's a good name. SteamWorld Fight. 
Steam World fight or Steam yeah. World brawl or something. Steam World melee, dude. Steam World super. Steam, no. <laughs> Steam World yeah, for cool. Wii U and 3DS. Oh, that, that's one. That's really good. Oh man. All right. Cool. Well, thank you all so much for stopping by this stream. Uh, again, thank you to Thunderful for sponsoring this stream, and uh, we're very excited for the future of Steam World. So, um, we will see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.